Recent reports around the Chicago Bulls suggest that they are looking to make multiple trades. The question now is who should be getting prioritized as far as playing time is concerned? We're going to be talking about the players that should be playing moving forward and why. This is your host, Rico Greenhow, and you have found yourself on another episode of Bulls Digest. And so today we are looking at playing time uh, for these players that are on the team and really why some players should be looking to get more minutes. And so Let's go ahead and start with an article in which I uh, checked this out, and it was talking about three players that uh, should be getting some more playing time, talking about uh, just prioritizing the youth movement and then defense as well. Those three players were Modis Bozellis, EJ Liddell, and then also to Lonzo Ball. And so I'm actually going to be adding a player to that list, and we're going to talk about that. But first, I want to start with Modis Bozellis. And so I think with Modis Bozellis, the key for Modis Bozellis and why you need to play him is that he is a part of your youth movement, and he's going to be very important. I think that Modis Bozellis right now is not going anywhere. Uh, we have just got him out of the draft and at this point in time I don't think the franchise really knows what they have with him and that's why you have got to play him because if he's going to be a part of your future you need to know exactly what uh, he can and cannot do what he needs to work on as you go out and you acquire other assets to build around him because I think that Modest Buzelis has shown us that he is going to be a big piece of this team I love his confidence I've loved what he's done from day one in a Chicago Bulls uniform in summer league and then also to the flashes that I'm seeing in preseason. And now I'm loving what I'm seeing when he is getting playing time here because I think that each performance he has really been building off of each performance. And what I mean by that is you can tell that he is really understanding and learning the game because, you know, there's times now where he's not just sitting there and shooting that three-point shot from the corner. He is taking the opportunity now to cut, and he that's how you see him getting those dunks. And he's also doing uh, some of the things that have been a real strength for him coming out of the G League, and that is uh, running the floor and being available on the break. And so that indicates to me that he is understanding what this team wants to do from you know, a player and a ball movement situation. And so I think that Modest Buzelis continues to build off of momentum. And going into what he did with the G League, look, 24 points, he had 10 rebounds, he also had two assists. And when you look at that G League performance, you can tell that it's so much more different from uh, when we drafted him out of the G League. You can just tell with the confidence, you can tell with his jump shot, how it has gotten more better. And you can just tell that he feels like, you know, he is just on the rise like the confidence is there and so Modest Buzelis is a player I have got to see some more of and some of his performances in the season look at Memphis in a loss both of these he had 14 points he had uh, six of three from the field or he shot six of three from the field at 46 percent he was two of five from three that game and then uh, the Dallas game 13 points he was four of nine from the field at 44.4 percent three of four from downtown and so I know both of those games we lost in but you are seeing the ability uh, and you're seeing the flashes and I think that if you're serious about a rebuild and you're trying to figure out how to do this thing right you have got to continue to put Modest Buzelis out there you've got to continue to evaluate him especially now with Patrick Williams being out I'm not saying that you go out there and you start the young man but you need to be giving him as much uh, minutes as possible so Modest Buzelis is a player that I absolutely agree with should be getting some playing time next up you know the next next player that I think should be getting some game time is going to be, uh, I think, Jalen Smith. I think that Jalen Smith is the next player that I would like to be seeing getting some more game time here because I think with Jalen Smith, you know, he is a player that he's right now, he's averaging about 13.8 minutes per game. Uh, in October, the first month of the season, he really had it going. He was shooting 53.8% uh, from the field. Then he also was averaging 11.5 points per game. And then he was shooting at 57.1 uh, from downtown. That was in the first month of the season. Now this next month, uh, so far, he's at 14.6 uh, minutes a game. So he's increased the minutes, but he's only 
shooting 42.7% from the field. Uh, he's averaging 6.6 .6 points per game, and he's only shooting 29.3%. And so I think that Jalen Smith is a player that, uh, you know, I want to see some more of. If you do give him the playing time, uh, will he respond to that? I know he's dealing with uh, the injuries and things like that. He uh, dealt with the, the knee injury. He also has been dealing with the ankle. He had an illness, and so I think that that is probably some of the reasons why we see a little bit of a tough start here in November or actually, you know, a tough month for him right now. But I think that Jalen Smith is a player that could be a big part of the Chicago Bulls, especially if you move off of Vooch this season. Then Jalen Smith, you know, he is probably going to be your starting center, depending on how the Chicago Bulls approach a trade with Vooch. And so I would like to see him out there some more. I would like to see him uh, maybe out there with the starters at times. I'd love to see Billy Donovan stagger him in a little bit more. And I'd like to see how he does respond when you give him 20 plus minutes, because I think that Jalen Smith is a player that uh, I think he can certainly help the Chicago Bulls. He definitely does stretch the floor. He's excellent, I think, at running the floor as well. Like there were times during that Wizards game, you see him rim run, so he understands that. I can definitely see that as this team continues to get even better with this playing style, this up and down playing style, I could see Jalen Smith, uh, Jalen Smith, excuse me, really uh, thriving in this system. So I'd like to see some more of him. And then next up, you know, just talking about some of the players that were mentioned uh, in this article that I was talking about at the beginning with EJ Liddell. And so EJ Liddell is a player that certainly intrigues me. I think that with EJ Liddell, the one thing that I love about him is defense. And I've said this before when he uh, got signed, I think he reminds me of like almost like a, a mini Draymond Green type of player. And so with EJ Liddell, um, I, you know, I, I do like the fact that he has uh, really been shooting the basketball pretty well uh, in his G League stint right now. I think he's averaging, what, 16.4 points per game. He's shooting the ball at uh, 50% from three, which is great, and he's snagging about 5.8 rebounds. And so he's showing that, uh, you know, he could be a, definitely a valuable asset to the Chicago Bulls as an undersized big. And so, you know, if the Chicago Bulls were looking to perhaps – uh, utilize him as a, a role player and build with him, then certainly you do want to see some more of him. And so EJ Liddell, I can see it if you're looking to go with the defense. And with Lonzo Ball, I think that you do probably have to play him a little bit more, especially if it is true with the trade rumors. I think that the more that you feature Lonzo Ball and not necessarily feature him in the sense that you throw him out over other players, I'm not saying that, but as you increase the minutes and you stagger him in more and teams get a chance to see just how impactful he is on the floor because I do think that he is an impact to this team uh, and I think he'll be an impact to really any team at this point as long as he can t continue to stay healthy because his basketball IQ is there like you see the ability to start the fast break you see the ability not to put the ball on the floor and get the ball ahead he understands what to do with it and his jump shot he can definitely still knock down the shot defensively I love the fact that he's saying look I may not be at the best athleticism that I used to have but he still knows how to go out there and really compete and really knows how to get his hands in the passing lanes he understands uh, angles how to get steals he's very active out there heck I, sometimes I'm looking at Lonzo and I'm saying man I wish at times you know we had about four other guys out there that are doing the same thing with that type of activity and so yes I think that Lonzo Ball for the sense that you're trying to maybe move on from him I think it would probably make sense to go ahead and still get him some minutes now. Who knows? I mean, that December 15th, uh, you know, is coming up where that's where players who have signed in the offseason are going to be eligible to be traded. And so if the Chicago Bulls are looking to make a move, then you would definitely want to show that Lonzo is healthy. He's able to put together, uh, you know, consecutive games. And I'm not saying back to backs, but, you know, games without being injured and being impactful. So I could see uh, a situation where Lonzo Ball is getting some more playing time because of that. And so uh, anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about this uh, recent news. Do you feel like, uh, yes, it is going to be Lonzo Ball, EJ Liddell, and Modest Bozellis? Or do you agree with me that it's uh, Modest Bozellis and it is Jalen Smith uh, that need to be probably getting the playing time moving forward uh, with this youth movement and maybe, you know, with the direction this franchise is going, 
there are going to utilize those players a little bit more. So I'd love to hear what your thoughts are uh, in the comments. And so I want to thank everybody out there for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the content. It means a lot to us as we try to reach our goal of uh, 5,000 subscribers uh, by the end of the season. And I wanted to let you know that about 69.6% .6 of you that are watching are, are not uh, subscribed to the channel. So make sure that you go ahead and mash on that subscribe button. It means a lot to us here at Bulls Digest. And so look, even though the Chicago Bulls are, are probably headed to a, a massive uh, directional change here, uh, I'm still saying go Bulls and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.